Hi, I'm Crystal with Famous Properties. Welcome to the Stark House. This is a enchanting 1928 Spanish revival that I've spent the past five months renovating. So I can't wait to show you all my favorite things about it. Starting with this entrance, my absolute favorite thing is this original plaque. It says Stark on it, which is the original family name and uh, it's gorgeous. I love the colors and the colors from these tiles are really how we chose the color palette throughout the whole entire home. And this is the living room, one of the most enchanting spaces in the entire home. And there are many things about this room that make Spanish Revival houses just so beautiful and so unique. Um, a few of those details are the plaster walls and the plaster ceiling, the elaborate tray ceiling in this room that you don't see very often. And uh, the plaster work is just a work of art in and of itself. Um, you also have the original Cortison oak floors and these sconces are really some of my favorite details. I actually found these sconces from La Paloma Design in Los Angeles. They were a handcrafted uh, Spanish revival design company for 30, 40 years they were around. And they went out of business. They had a huge warehouse sell. And I was lucky enough to score these incredible sconces. And all the sconces that you see throughout the house are from La Paloma Design. Um, the fireplace, of course, is the focal point of the room. It has that old world charm that you would want a Spanish Revival fireplace to have. Um, I have this gorgeous painting on here. It's one of my favorite pieces. Most of the furniture that you see here, in, in including this stunning uh, floor lamp, is from Restoration Hardware. Another favorite detail about the styling of this room are these incredible hand-forged window curtain rods. I got them from a guy that was redecorating his uh, Spanish Revival mansion, and he was going for a French chateau look, so these no longer worked in his house. So I was more than happy to nab them. Another thing that just makes it so stunning is you're elevated off the street. It's incredibly peaceful. The grounds are surrounded by multiple mature live oak trees. And so looking out every window here, you have the beauty of the oak trees and it feels private, it feels serene, and it, it feels like you're really someplace other than Riverside. Another great feature about this room is this French door that opens out to the deck and it just gives you a little bit of taste of that natural outdoor beautiful feeling with the live oak trees. And the view out here is just stunning. It goes all the way out to beyond the river bottom and the valley. And the dining room is another gorgeous room. Uh, the main feature here is this solid brass restoration hardware chandelier. The floors are still the original quarter sawn oak. And it's so nice that the dining room is open to the kitchen, a feature that not many historic homes have. Uh, back, you know, turn of the century, 1920s, all the rooms are very compartmentalized. And this just has such a nice flow going from cooking and entertaining to dining. And of course the outdoor space again. I mean, this home really is about the outdoors and the indoors just kind of merging together. So you have all this gorgeous outdoor space. It's also like your living space. And so the French doors open up to the patio and the French doors are such a great feature because you have this indoor, outdoor flow going on, which is just perfect for entertaining. And we'll see more of the backyard and patio space later on. So the laundry room actually used to be a really huge laundry room, uh, but it wasn't very functional. So we basically cut that space in half and we were able to create 
a powder room on the opposite side, which we're going to look at. Um, and then we added some shelving in here, a marble career top. So it is now a very functional space and it gave you a, another bathroom. So this is the additional bathroom that we were able to create from taking that space from the laundry room. Um, it's a gorgeous space, even though it is small, it's a, a sink and a toilet, so it's a half bath. The floors are done in travertine. The vanity is restoration hardware. And the mirror is a really beautiful, unique piece that I've had for a long time. I actually got it from another house that I sold and it is antique, it's Art Nouveau, it's gorgeous. I hate to actually be losing it by selling this house, um, but it looks so perfect in the space that it just, it has to stay there. This is the room that really took up the most amount of time and thought and money because I wanted to have like this wow bathroom, the kind of bathroom that I've always dreamed of having. A couple things about this bathroom that I love is this giant soaking tub. Um, the floors, the walls, I don't know which thing I love the most, but I'll just tell you one by one how it all came together. So the floors are also travertine and they came from the Riverside Restore. I don't know if you've ever been to the Restore, but it's ran by Habitat for Humanity and it's where contractors and companies donate their leftover stuff and then the Restore sells it for profit. So they had a couple giant cases of this stone and I think I bought a giant pallet of this for $200. So I didn't even know the shape of it. I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but I have this gorgeous herringbone pattern that came out of it and I, I love the way it turned out. Um, the walls are Venetian plaster. Um, they were done by Bennett and Sons in Pasadena. If you need plaster work, Bennett and Sons are amazing. And they really understood the feeling that I want to create in here and the Venetian plaster just kind of gives this old world feeling. It makes you feel like you're in a spa somewhere in Spain and uh, it really transformed the whole space. I'm obsessed with having a niche in any bathroom and so I have some mirrors and things that I've collected um, over the years that kind of give you that Moroccan feeling and I think having a niche in a bathroom it, it kind of just, it creates, not only is it practical, I mean, you can put your shampoo and your soap there, but you can display little things that you have and it really gives just a regular plain old bathroom that little oomph of uniqueness and luxury. All of the fixtures that you see for the shower and the bathtub are solid brass. They're unlacquered which means that you get that beautiful patina on them over time. And I had them imported from Morocco. So whoever gets this bathroom, I am so incredibly envious of you. Um, the shower is huge. I mean, it's a nice walk-in shower and it has the rainfall feature. And there's a little seat here because if you're a woman, you know that when you have to shave your legs, where are you supposed to put your leg? You have to have a bench to shave your leg, right? Once again, the sconces are from La Paloma Design. Off of the main bath, we have two bedrooms. Um, one's a little bit larger that you could consider your primary. So let's check it out. Uh, so this room is actually a really nice large bedroom for a 1928 home. Um, it also has the original quarter sawn oak floors and it has um, these beautiful casement windows, which by the way, my husband, Fred, spent maybe 60 days straight restoring these windows. Um, it was really a labor of love because you can't have a historic house like this and not have original windows. It took me a very, very long time to choose a paint color 
for these windows, I wanted to have a nice calming sage, but it is really difficult finding the right color green. Um, so this green that you see that echoes throughout the home on all of the trim work is called Fresh Time by Dunn Edwards. And the white that is on the interior and the exterior is called Alabaster, and that's from Sherwin-Williams. It's a gorgeous warm white that I use all of the time, and you wouldn't believe what a difference the right white makes. So if you're looking to paint your home white, pick Alabaster. Here in the second bedroom, it's really just mimicking the same peaceful, calming vibe of the larger bedroom. Uh, we have the refinished solid oak floors, um, the unique sconces from La Paloma, and the beautiful functional casement windows. And it's just a really nice room that you can have a guest in or if it's you have children, uh, it's, it's a very comfortable space. So this is a really great space for outdoor entertaining, alfresco dining. You have this gorgeous pergola with all of the shade and beauty of the live oak trees. And as beautiful as the space is, I cannot wait to show you the rest because it actually gets better. This is the patio. This is a beautiful setting because looking in front of me, I have this gorgeous view of the sunset and the mountains and the river bottom. And then behind me, you have the glory of Mount Rubido, just the boulders and natural setting. I mean, everywhere you turn 360 degrees on this patio, is just a beautiful, enchanting space to be in. Uh, whether you're sitting here at the fire pit or you're enjoying the sound of the waterfall or you are even up higher with the second level fireplace, um, it is just a gorgeous place to be. And one of the things that makes this outdoor setting here so, so special is all of the incredible rock work that you see leading up to the house, behind the house. All of these granite stones were quarried locally here in Riverside. Um, it was actually at a quarry near Mount Rubido called North Hill. It just creates this feeling of like being someplace really old with a lot of history. And it also echoes the feeling that you get from being right here on Mount Rubido. Another unique thing about this property is that you have this main level detached uh, one bedroom studio apartment. Uh, there's a little kitchenette in here, there's a full bathroom, but it's really a great space for a guest, uh, for your home office if you want some separation, or if you want to have a little Airbnb rental, this is the perfect spot. Let's check it out. So here in the studio, we have this charming little sitting area, and this space actually was originally a closet. Um, but it was a pretty big closet for such a small room. So we opened up the closet and we put this beautiful wallpaper and I found this painting from an estate cell that just looks so insanely good with this wallpaper. I can't believe it. And I may even be willing to leave the painting behind for the right buyer. Um, but the room is really comfortable. Uh, we also refinished the hardwood floors. These are original Douglas fir floors. And the space is just, it's really charming. It's a really great space for a guest. Uh, there's a little kitchenette with a microwave and a mini fridge. Um, we also put in a mini split system that does incredible heating and cooling. So this room is really comfortable year round. And there's a large walk-in shower and you know, pretty much everything somebody would need to just have a comfortable stay here. Thanks for taking this tour with me of the beautiful Stark House. If you have any questions about this home or any other real estate related needs, 
or maybe you'd like a consultation about your own historic home, feel free to call me anytime. I'm Crystal with Famous Properties.